previously on Water Your Soil, the FICO credit report, because some people, they'll see it and they'll say, what is this? They'll look at it like it's literature from maybe the classroom or things like that, but it's not. It's actually featuring your accounts and your information and lets you know when you opened up those accounts. And it also lets you know the payments that you have made on those accounts and whether or not you are doing a good job with managing those accounts. Because ultimately, Hey, what's going on out there? I'd like to welcome every single one of you to Water Your Soil. So this video is going to be for everyone who has a Discover It secured credit card. And I'm going to tell you in this video ways of how you can get the most out of this card. That's right. The ways that you can maximize your Discover It secured credit card. Now, before I get into the video, if you're new here, I have two rules over at this channel. The first rule is to always use your own discretion when it comes to credit cards and your credit score. The second rule is to always verify whatever it is you learn, whether it's on this channel, another channel, or anywhere. That should always be the rule to verify what it is that you learn. Now, getting into the video, one thing I will say about the Discover It Secured Credit Card is honestly, it's my favorite secured credit card. Now, some people, especially some of my subscribers, they might be like, hey, you're kind of biased towards the Discover It secured card because that's what you started out with. But honestly, I know people with other secured cards and I still think Discover is the best one. There are a lot of reasons why I will touch on some of them in this video, but hopefully you all that have the card are already getting a lot out of it. And if you're not, you want to watch this video in full. So just a little introduction to those of you all who are new to my channel. I started off my credit card journey back in 2015. I signed up for the Discover It Secured Credit Card. Now, back then, it wasn't the same way how it is right now. I actually had to apply for the regular Discover Cashback credit card, get rejected. Then Discover sent me a message telling me to apply for the secured credit card. That's how it worked back then. Now it's totally different. Of course, you all who have the card know that. You just simply go to their website and they have a section where you could just apply for it right off bat. But I started my journey back then in 2015. I graduated my card within 11 months prior to a year and I graduated my card in 2016. So once I graduated my card, I immediately asked to see if my card could be upgraded to the regular cashback card and they did they did switch it over now it's totally different now i don't really know how it works now but people are not getting switched over to the regular cashback card so that is something that some of you may want to consider when it comes to this card once your card graduate you may want to consider or see if you could at least upgrade to the cashback card with discover that way you could get the five percent cashback when it comes to their categories. Now, the cool thing about Discover when it comes to maximizing your Discover card, especially your Discover It Secured Credit Card, one of the first steps is to get your card to graduate. Now, as I stated back in 2015, during my time with the card, it usually took up to a year. Now, people are graduating within seven months. So you all have it pretty good compared to how it was back then. So I have videos on this channel. I have a lot of videos on the Discover It Secured Card and in regards to how you could graduate it. So on this channel, I have a playlist strictly for the Discover It Secured Card. So check out the playlist on my homepage when you get a chance in order to find out how to actually get your card to graduate. But you should be focused on graduating your card. Another thing that you want to focus on while you have this card is managing the rest of your credit report. Because I know a lot of you saw the title of this video and thought, hey, he's just going to teach us how to get the most as far as cashback is concerned. But no, the key is to graduate this card first. That's the first step. That's the way you really maximize it. And the other things that I'm about to talk about are also how you maximize it. So you want to make sure that you are managing the rest of your credit report, whether that be your student loans, auto loans, whatever type of accounts that you have on your credit report. If they report to the three major credit bureaus, make sure you are managing them correctly. In fact, even if they don't report, make sure you're still managing your accounts correctly. What does that mean? That means paying on time. That means not being late. That means paying down the debt that you have, which is key. That's a key part. 
And that also goes into how quick you'll be able to graduate your secured card. So once you are able to do these things during that seven month to 12 month period, your card should eventually graduate. If it doesn't, usually you are doing something wrong. Another thing you wanna to do to maximize the secured card with Discover is take advantage of that 3% cash back. Now, you always wanna be careful when you have a secured card. I look at a secured card as basically having the training wheels on a bike. You don't wanna to do too much. You may want to do tricks and stand on the handlebars and things like that, but you don't want to do that with training wheels. You want to wait till you get experience and then you do those things with a regular credit card. So what you're going to do with your secured credit card is you're going to do things simultaneously. You're going to have to manage your card correctly, meaning paying on time, not being late, managing the other accounts on your credit report correctly. You're also going to have to watch your utilization. Now, a lot of people think when I tell people to watch their utilization, that is for the credit card or the credit card company's purposes. And it's not. It's not just for that. It's also for your sake. And when it comes to your credit report, because you'll be able to see it reflecting on your credit score as well. So you want to make sure you are watching your utilization and you also want to make sure you're taking advantage of the 3% while you have the opportunity. But as I stated, the key to maximizing this card is to get from under the card. What do I mean get from under it? I mean graduated from secured to unsecured. That's the key. That's the key to maximizing this card because I know some people, they are probably happy just to have a credit card, but you don't want to be in the mindset of just being happy to have one. You want to be in the mindset of getting the most out of it and getting the most out of this specific card is graduating it. And once you're able to do that, you'll get the most out of it because you can either upgrade and go to the regular 5% cash back card with Discover, or you'll be able to open yourself up to a network of other new cards with other banks, whether that be American Express, Chase, Navy Federal, Capital One, whoever it may be. But the key, if you have this card, the key to maximizing it is to get from under the status of having a secured card. And I wanted to share this video with you all. I know a lot of people are signing up for this card and getting approved thankfully it's a popular one i hope any of you who are considering applying for this one gets approved and get the most out of it but remember try to get from under the secured status as soon as possible that's within that seven to twelve month time frame the earlier the better but anyways, if you're new over here, this is Water Your Soil. If you're feeling the vibe over here, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Turn on all notifications. That means hitting that bell. That way you won't miss a future video because I do post often. Also, this goes to every single one of you, my subscribers included. Be sure to hit the like button. That's your way of supporting this video. Let's the algorithm know you like this video. You never know who else needs this video. This is about to discover its secured card. So the people who are watching it more than likely are either starting their credit journey over or they're just starting their credit journey. You were once there as well, I'm sure. But anyways, this is Water Your Soil. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'm out. Wait, 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 wait. Before you leave, be sure to check out the description box below. That way you can have all the credit resources from Water Your Soil. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button as well, all right? In the description box below, I always tell people, check out the description box below for extra resources from Water Your Soil. Part of the description box also showcases my book that I have. I have a book, it's been out for a while now, it's been out for years, it's titled, strategies to master credit the book is available it's on amazon it's on barnes and noble most online bookstores have the book and the book is basically about how fico credit scoring works once you understand how fico credit scoring works you're pretty much on your way to helping yourself build develop and maintain a good credit score so check the book out whenever you get a chance